Ciao, and welcome back to Casa Fiore's Cucina. This time of year, it's all pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins all the time. And last year, I introduced you to low-key pumpkin gnocchi with rigotta. But this year, we're sticking to the classic, pumpkin pie. Now, I know what you're saying. You already have a great recipe, right? Well, this year, it's time to up your pumpkin pie game. So today, I present to you best practices in pumpkin pie. Number one, pick a great pumpkin and start from scratch. Sure, use canned pumpkins, go with it. But think about stretching yourself this year. Hey, if nothing else, gives you a great excuse to go to a local market or escape the city and head out to a farm and have a real farm to table experience. Doesn't this just put you in the mood? It sure does. <laughs> that. Boom! Yay! First, we're gonna steam about two pounds of pumpkin. Number two. Find a great crust recipe. For years I had a go-to recipe for my pie crust, and then I decided to branch out a little bit. I found my crust in this book, A Boat, A Whale, and A Walrus by Renee Erickson. You know her, Walrus and the Carpenter and the Whale Winds. By the way, this is a great read. Among other things, she pays homage to the wonderful food culture of the Pacific Northwest, and if you're a native like I am, you'll love the book. The key to this recipe is a lot of butter and elbow grease, nothing mechanical. And I think that's why this has great texture. I'm gonna start working in the butter into pea-sized pieces. I'm now gonna incorporate a little bit of ice cold water with a fork until it all comes together. I've got two pie shells. I'll need just one today. Now they're gonna go in the refrigerator and chill for a couple of hours or even overnight. Number three, concoct your own special secret spice profile. Now you might be asking yourself, what the heck is he going to do with 50 pounds of heirloom pumpkins? Well, guess what? We've already tucked into this one. Pumpkin muffins with chocolate chips? Mm. Or what about pumpkin soup with ginger and lime? Check out the next slide. And now we'll put it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes and then drop the temperature to 350 for another half an hour or so. And what do you do with leftover custard? You make a crustless pie. Heirloom pumpkins are like alien fruits from a distant galaxy. This one's French. It's called Ahem, Galo de Elezine. How do you like my French? And this one's Italiano. Marina di Chioggia.
And there it is. <laughs> and step number four, pour yourself a big glass of milk, get a big dollop of whipped cream, and dig in and enjoy. Ooh. <laughs> Step up your pumpkin pie game this year with these three steps. Thanks for tuning in to Casa Fiore's Cucina. Remember, you can see all of our 59 past shows on YouTube at Casa Fiore's Cucina. Ciao, arrivederci e buonasera. Shh, don't tell anybody. But usually I use homegrown Hubbard squash to make my pumpkin pie. It's really good, really dense, really sweet.